Ciao a tutti ragazzi, if you try to play Wind Waker or Twilight Princess on the same new Wii U emulator and you encounter this problem, then don't look anything further than this video. With anything further ado ragazzi, let's hop to my desktop and let's get the job done. Alright ragazzi, as in my desktop right now, let's fix the issue. So first of all, we navigate to semi. From there ragazzi, you go into options and we go into input settings. You're going to drag the window right here and uh, your setup is going to look uh, probably like this. Uh, wrong mapping, Wii U gamepad and so on. And it depends on which controller you're going to use. Xbox or PS4, it doesn't really matter. The thing is, of course, a reasonable person is going to take uh, Wii U gamepad, uh, of course, right? The problem is, uh, we're going to use it probably with the emulator with the Xbox One controller or PS4 and the thing is uh, we don't have a second screen on it and if you want to play Wind Waker or Twilight Princess ragazzi when you're going to try to access your items or try to save the game it's going to switch uh, to the second screen and here what where the problem occurred now to fix it ragazzi we're going to clear everything uh, alright ragazzi first of all we're going to name a controller so profile name and I'm going to name it MU the second thing ragazzi emulate controller and we're going to use instead of view gamepad was the right choice and in the same time not going with you pro controller ragazzi because we don't have a second screen the third thing controller ragazzi and api and we're going for sdl controller then we're going for controller and we're going to choose the controller that you connected ps4 or xbox add, and it's going to be automatically mapped of course ragazzi i'm going to leave a link in the description below for specific videos manually map for the ps4 and the xbox uh, controller ragazzi once you're done with this uh, double check that it works ragazzi and if it works uh, we're going to set Things. If you have a PS4 controller connect ragazzi, use click on this option here, use motion. And for the Xbox as well, you can just put it put up so it vibrates. And as you might see, it does vibrate, ragazzi. Once you're happy, okay. And uh, we are pretty much done, uh, and we should have fixed uh, the problem. But last but not least, uh, you press on the save, ragazzi, and you are done. We close and this. Let's start the game, ragazzi, and see if it works. You're going for Wii U Pro Control, ragazzi. All right, ragazzi. Once in the game, uh, if I press on the starter button, it's actually going to present me with the uh, item menu now instead of uh, go back to the screen. And if I press uh, uh, now down with the cursor thingy right here ragazzi i'm gonna present with another screen that's actually gonna be on the wii, on the wii u and i can actually save a game uh, and access my items oops and so on and with this all said ragazzi if you enjoyed the video like it if you like it and dislike it if you didn't and with that all said i'm gonna get the half a kick off here <laughs> the heck out of here have yourself a good day and but else keep it cool and stay awesome my name is simo for gaming ragazzi hey i'm freaking out of here peace